Good morning, happy Halloween, and welcome to Mission Control Houston and the International Space Station update. We're here with the International Space Station Flight Control Team inside the International Space Station Flight Control Room, which is led today by Flight Director Jerry Jason with Mark Regan playing the role of Capcom. And 261 miles above the South Pacific Ocean heading toward Guatemala, the International Space Station is now one progress vehicle larger and 2.9 tons richer in supplies following today's launch and docking of Progress 49. Launch took place at 2.41 a.m. Central Time this morning and was followed uh, less than five hours later, rather than the usual two days, by an 8.33 a.m. Central Time docking. A clip of that launch this morning from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. Again, this took place at 2.41 a.m. Central Time. It reached uh, space about 10 minutes later, its preliminary orbit, and then immediately got on its way to the International Space Station. Again, that normally takes two days, but uh, they were able to make it to the space station in less than five hours today for a docking at uh, 8.33 a.m. Central Time. See it coming in for that docking on this Vesta service module here. On board the station, members of Expedition 33 crew are now more than halfway through a, br through a busy day. They are Commander Sonny Williams and Flight Engineers Kevin Ford, Aki Hoshide, Yuri Malinchenko, Ola Novitsky, and Evgeny Terelkin. Williams, Malinchenko, and Hoshide launched to the station in July and will be heading home in November. Today is their 109th day in space and the 107th at the space station. Their crewmates, Ford, Novitsky, and Terelkin, just joined them last week, so they're on their ninth day in space and their seventh at the space station. They're planning to stick around until March. With the progress safely docked to the station's Vesta service module, the crew can now turn their full attention to tomorrow's spacewalk. Sunny Williams and Aki Hoshide are going to be going outside to repair an ammonia leak on one of the station's port side radiators. They're scheduled to head out of the Quest Era lock at 7.15 a.m. Central for the six and a half hour excursion and today they along with Kevin Ford who's going to be helping from the inside are going through their procedures one last time and getting their tools and the airlock ready for tomorrow. And in the midst of all this work there's also an important anniversary to mark. Twelve years ago today on October 31st 2000 the Expedition 1 crew launched from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan on a two-day trip to the space station where they became the first crew to live on board. Commander Bill Shepard and Flight Engineers Yuri Gudzinko and Sergei Kirkula docked two days later on November 2, 2000 and stayed in space for a total of 136 days. That's what's been going on in space today, and this is Mission Control Houston.